Hey there guys, I'm your today's host, Starquark. Today, I'll be using this time to talk about the growth and development in humans' life. Young babies are almost helpless. They can suck, swallow, or grasp. But they must have almost everything done for them. And yet, within one or two years, they will probably be walking and starting to talk. By the age of five, they will be able to speak fluently, draw, and may be starting to read. As for babies growth to become children and then adults, the shape of the proportions of their bodies change. A baby's head makes up a quarter of its body length. But in an adult, the head accounts for only an eighth of the total height. Our bodies and minds develop much more quickly when we are babies than at any other time. Over our first few months of life, our muscles become stronger and we learn to coordinate our actions. What's more, exciting activities such as climbing the stairs, jumping and riding a bike become possible. As we can be able to tell that the graph on the right hand side, that's a picture of a kid who's reading a some sort of a book. We can tell that learn to read from about the age of five, reading gives us another way to learn about the world about us. More interestingly, from the age of about five years, a child's body grows steadily. Then, from the age of 10 years for girls and a little older for boys, there is a sudden growth spurt. At this time, known as puberty, the ovaries of a girl start to release the sex hormone estrogen. The difference we can see, her body shape changes. She grows taller, her breasts develop, and hair starts to grow under her. As the pictures provided below, we can see this sequence, the timeline for the evolution of a baby to young adults by the age of 16. This wants to tell us how rapidly boys and girls' bodies change as they grow. In fact, arms and between her legs, she also starts to menstruate as her ovaries start to release one egg each month. A boy also gains height rapidly at puberty. These tests start to produce the hormone testosterone. But to be honest, it is very important to stay fit and healthy no matter what is your age. Swimming is one activity for people of all ages. Now, let's look at another example for that. He grows hair under his arms, on his face and between his legs, and his voice gets deeper. His penis and the testicles enlarge and begin to produce sperm. So this tells us how the boy should be like by the age of 18. Now let's go to the next slide. New skills. As children we learn to read and write. We also develop important social skills such as how to cooperate with others and make friends. Learning continues throughout our lives. Basically tells us how to communicate with different types of people. And when we leave school and go to work, we must learn new skills to do our jobs. We must also learn how to organize our time and money. 
Later, we may learn to care for our children and teach them the things we have learned. Growing older, the first thing comes to your mind might be, "Ah,、oh, when should I grow up? When can I be a real man?" By the age of about twenty, the human body is fully developed, so muscles are in a peak condition. And so, and the brains gradually a pers a person's body starts to age. No one can explain exactly why, although our cells are renewed throughout our lives. It seems that our, over time, our genetics code becomes less precise, and more mistakes creep in. Our skin starts to wrinkle. And our eyesight and hearing become less sensitive. Older people tend to have slow reactions and do not resist disease so well. The older you become, the less skills you will have. This all by means process. Down below, we can see there's a certain evolution of a baby. A male baby to become a young adult in just five aspects. So from a baby to a toddler, from toddler to a child, to child to adolescent, which means at puberty time, and then finally turns out to young adult. Boys are fully grown by the age of eighteen years. That's all for today's show. Please drop a like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and that's always the best way to support me. Once again, thank you, and we will continue with tomorrow. As for popularizing the knowledge of biology, thank you for your listening and for your participation, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned.